Declaration of Independence or Discovery of Aloha all and welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I'm Paper Mario Guy. In the last episode, we finished the OG Loke strand of missions, and in this episode, we're gonna begin the crash strand of missions. Hey, Carl Johnson, CJ! Oh, Come on over here, son. Move over, let him sit down, asshole. So you finally found time to drop by. Man, I've been busy. I've been burying my moms, man. Sounds like a fucking excuse to me. Officer Pulaski thinks you're trying to screw with us, Carl. Now you get this straight. We own you. You're ours. We can shit on you from such a height, you'll think God himself has crapped on you. You understand? He better fucking understand. Yeah, he better have. Time to go to work, CJ, and earn your freedom. There's a guy holed up across town. You got that address, Pulaski? Another gang banging, drug pushing, cop killing bitch just like you. We don't like him, and he don't like us. Now you make sure he never leaves the neighborhood. Not even in a box. Get the fuck out of here. And that's basically the cutscene that made me like fall in love with Officer Tenpenny. I don't know if I've really expressed it so far this Let's Play, but Officer Tenpenny is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, video game villain in like any game that I've ever played. I think he's great, and that line of uh, I can crap on you from such a height that you'd think God himself crapped on you. When I first heard that, I thought it was like the most brilliant thing I ever heard. I mean, granted I was like a little kid and everything, but still, I feel like Officer Tenpenny is just fucking amazing. And that's like one of the best, uh, best scenes. But as I was saying earlier in the project, I did the firefighter missions off screen. Um, and you can get the firefighter, uh, or you can get the, um, fire truck right down the road from the hospital. So if you die, if you just, like, kill yourself, um, right down from the hospital, you'll find the fire truck. And you have to complete the 12 missions. Um, I did a video of it. I just haven't uploaded it yet. I'm going to upload it later down the road. And it will show me doing all of them. But the ability that it grants you is, uh, immunity to fire. And this is one uh, mission where it is really really useful it makes everything so much easier um so my first recommendation is just getting out and actually like killing the vagos that are outside of the house um just to make your life a little easier and then now that you're immune to fire you can kind of just throw these recklessly um i mean the best thing is just to get like right up next to it and then just go for it, but, uh, ooh, oh my god, his face exploded, um, but, like, usually, like, if you fuck up, like, right there, like, CJ usually would just have, uh, caught on fire, and fire damage done is a lot, um, uh, it is not anything that you want to have to deal with, and, um, yeah, now we don't have to deal with it, ooh, and body armor, look at that, we're good to go, we're ready. Hey! Can anybody hear me? Son of a bitch. So, even though, as I was explaining in last episodes, Carl Steve Harvey Johnson usually is a ruthless son of a bitch, but for whatever reason, he has a soft spot right now. So we're going to actually risk our well-being. Wow, they just got through. They just, what? They just got through so much of my body armor. Um, but yeah, now we're going to go and risk ourselves through the fire to freaking get this girl. And um, it's fine now because we don't have to worry about getting hurt. But this will introduce the um, concept of having girlfriends in this game. And uh, I don't you know okay? if I'm actually going to show myself going Stick on a date scared. with any of the girls Hold in this on, game. So I'll, I'll just kind of explain right what happens. Basically, each girl has, and there's like six different girlfriends that you can have in this game. Each girl has uh, different attributes. Um, 
that she's fond of. So, like, some will really want CJ to be, like, ripped. Um, others will actually not be attracted to him if he is ripped. Um, and then depending on, like, your clothes and, like, different things, um, you know, you'll have a sex appeal. And that's basically how um, getting into dating in this game starts. Uh, each girl, if you date them to um, completion, which is to say, like... Uh, if you get to like a certain level of I think happiness or progress made with a girlfriend, you'll gain um, an ability. Um, so it's kind of worthwhile, um, especially because of the fact that the dates are really easy. You just go and um, there's like several ones that you can do, but usually it will just be like taking the girl out to like a restaurant or a bar or something like that. Or sometimes it's like a drive-by. Like, there's a couple different things that you can do. But it's basically, like, just another mini-game um, that you, you know, San Andreas is kind of filled with these types of, like, mini-game type, uh, like, challenges. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. All I know is that I don't really get too much into the whole dating thing in this game like I usually never put any time in it mainly because it's not necessary for a hundred percent and I pretty much won't do anything that doesn't actually contribute to a hundred percent if I don't have to um, so yeah like I said you probably won't see me do any of that stuff on screen but I might do one one or two I don't know we'll see um, it might be like an extra video or something like that where I like do like a date with like every single one of them just to kind of show it off But yeah, that mission is a uh, super super damn easy. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Where are you come on? There we go Hey, man, I owe you my life I was nearly dead there for sure. Hey, you look pretty shook up, girl. You want me to take you home? Yeah, please, thanks. Like what are you gonna you sit on my lap while I drive? What are you doing? Uh, you All right, whoa, Just what is going on here? <laughs> something, <laughs> something, something happened here while like I was in that building trying to save this bitch. CJ, right? So, okay. Yeah, how you know me? Everybody in the Grove knows you. I crashed right brother. into that fucking wall. I thought you'd run away. I never ran away, okay? I just needed to get away from shit. Yeah, so this is Denise. She actually lives right outside the Grove, so it's pretty convenient. Hey, what's your name? Denise. Denise Robinson. Give me a call sometime. We should go out or something. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'll catch you later, CJ. Alright, excellent. We get nothing, no respect, no cash, no nothing from that mission. Sweet. Yeah, so she'll pop up on your screen as a you little heart. So, uh, every once in a while you can go over and uh, check it out. And she will be available for dates sometimes. So, you know, just another little extra thing that you can do in San Andreas. Um... Well, all right, so I don't think I'm gonna get into the next mission in this episode just because it is a, a tad long if I remember correctly um, So what I actually want to do is I want to go over And show off just like um, Just a couple of like the other like little side things that you can do in this game. God damn it flip my car um, cause there's a lot of stuff that you can do in this game aside from just the normal missions, but okay, well, I'll answer my phone while I'm at it. What's up, sweet? We got a problem. Some book ass base ass fool has been slanging to his Grove brothers. What? Who? Check this out. He's been buying shit over in Glen Park. He know the hood is talking and he's hiding out with his new ball of friends. Shit, man. How we gonna get to him? It's time for you to not show return, CJ. You fuck up Glen Park and that turncoat bitch ass nigga's gonna lose nerve and make a break for it. Okay, I'm gonna come pick you up. Hell no. This is your gig, CJ. You need some strikes. Get over to Army Nation and get a heater. Alright, so... This actually opens up a whole new 
other aspect of this game that is exclusive to the Los Santos area, which is that of uh, Territory Wars. So, as you can see, this baller's coming over here trying to fuck me up, even though I'm not even bothering him. Um, but you're going to be able to take over territory and kind of make Grove King. Um, I will definitely get more into that again in the next episode. But for now, I'm actually just going to go into this bar and show off the pool mini game. Uh, so you can come over here and um, talk to this guy. And you can bet, bet a wager all the way up to a thousand, uh, which is what I am going to do. How do I do it again? Oh. Well, I guess, uh... Alright, hold on. I fucked up. Game of pool ain't the same without a little money involved. Okay. To increase, you hold and... Pr or press and hold B. So I'm gonna bet a thousand. Um, it's just pool. You know, just normal pool. The reason I'm doing this, actually, is just because this is actually an achievement. Um... Yeah, if you if you win a game of pool, I'm pretty sure, or even if you just play a game of pool, the full thing, you'll get an achievement out of it. And this is weird because like it seems like so stupid to like load up GTA San Andreas or GTA 4 or 5 or whatever and play these stupid little games, but I have to give the GTA series credit where credit's due. I feel like a lot of the mini games inside of the GTA games are awesome like i know that i played a little bit of like the gta 5 like golf simulator and i actually thought it was like really good <laughs> and really fun and like i've always enjoyed doing things like this uh playing pool playing the arcade games uh i think like that was one of the reasons i love gta 4 so much is because they kind of expanded on that so much with like being able to hang out with your friends and stuff and go bowling and and what and I know it's kind of like a meme now but I, you know I always actually kind of enjoyed uh, some of that stuff so all right um so I'm not the best at pool but I think this will be okay yes excellent But you should let me know in the comments what your favorite uh, GTA minigame is. Because there, there are a lot of them. Um, what are some other good ones that I like? Hmm. Trying to think of what, which ones were in, like, Vice City. Well, Vice City also had, the, like, the Rampages, which I thought were kind of cool. And I would actually really enjoy if, like, this game had some. Um, I think it's only in, like, multiplayer, though, that they have rampages. For those of you who don't know what the, the a rampage is, it's, like, a little icon that you could find in, like, the uh, overworld. And it would basically spawn, like, a certain number of enemies or something like that. Or, like, it would give you a time limit and you had to try to, like, get as many kills as you could or cause as much destruction as you could in, like, a short period of time. And, uh... Yeah, like I said, I think I think when you're playing co-op in this game, you can find some of that stuff, but they're very rare. And I guess because this is the first time I'm mentioning it, yes, this game does have a co-op feature. You can't play like any of the story, but there are certain areas in the game where you can, again, find an icon, and if you have a second controller plugged in, the someone else can take control of a character, and you can do things like that, like like the little rampages and stuff. you know kind of a far cry from what we got you know in GTA 5 but I think that uh, you know GTA was always destined to be like a, a multiplayer experience oh shit damn this is hard well it's not that hard I'm just not putting a whole lot of effort into it but yeah when I played when I would play as a as a kid I would I feel like I spent a lot more time then I probably should have doing things like this. But I guess like when I think about like what kind of gamer I am at my core, I really am an arcade fan. Like, I love the Xbox 360 arcade games uh, that I have. Geometry Wars 2, 
Um, I like Techno Kitten Adventure. Like, I like, you know, even the classics, Pac-Man, Dig Dug. Like, I just enjoy arcade games because it's simplistic, quick, easy fun, and it's very non-committal. But I also feel like I'm playing against myself, and that's, like, the most motivated I can be is trying to beat myself. No, I don't want to shoot <laughs> that one. All right. I got this one. Perfect. Perfect shot. Alright, well I'm I'm in dire straits here, boys. Let's see. Can I make something happen? Oh, I thought maybe in the opposite corner. It's gonna have some luck. Ooh, but he doesn't have a really good shot, so. Yeah, so like just while, you know, because I'm I'm just gonna finish this game out and then we'll end the episode. I guess like one thing, uh, like a one funny story is uh, I played um, Dead Rising 2, and I love that game. And when I played through it for the second time, I decided to, like, try to do more of, like, the side missions. And one of the things that I thought was required was that you had to do, like, the uh, side game where you played, like, Texas Hold'em. And I love poker anyway, so, like, I wasn't entirely, like, upset about that, but it was retard like it was it was so hard um i yeah i just i felt like it was like way harder than it needed to be and uh in that game there's like for every like mission that you do with like the survivors you gain like a certain amount of points and like for the amount of time that I put in to playing the Texas Hold'em mini game, I must have played it for like two and a half hours. I shit you not, before I finally like beat it. And I think in total I got like like a fraction of what I would get for like any other mission that I could have put time into. And it was just just such a giant uh, like waste of time. But all right, I lost because I suck. But I wanted to just show off the pool mini game, so I lost a thousand dollars. Big deal, not a big deal. Still got thirty G's. I'm not concerned. Uh, and anyway, I haven't even got to show you guys the uh, <laughs> the horse betting, um, and that's a whole <laughs> that's for a whole different time. But anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. If you did, please consider giving it a like and, uh, you know, giving me a subscribe. And I will see you guys in episode 14 for more San Andreas.